Hey, sorry. I, I don't know if you can hear me. I'm on two meetings at once, but the recording's going. Okay. All right. Go ahead on, Connie. Let's start. Okay. Okay. And with that, we're going to go into prayer this morning. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your goodness and for your mercy, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that you give us the wisdom, Lord God, for our daily walks, Lord God. We thank you that you go before us and you make the crooked path straight, Lord God. We ask your anointing upon this conference call today, Lord God, that your name will be glorified, that your will and your purpose be fulfilled, Heavenly Father. We thank you for your love and kindness, your grace, and your mercies. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 In Article 41, Section 2, it shall be the duty of each member to render aid and assistance to brother and sisters or sibling members in case of illness, death, or distress, and every way acquit themselves as a loyal and devoted member of this international union. And with that, we move on to introduce our International Executive Board for Chaplaincy, starting with Bill Eady. Hearing no response, we move on to Jerry Carson. Hearing no response, we move on to Herb Taylor. God bless you, Sister Cunning. Top of the morning, this evening, this afternoon. I uh, want to give thanks to God for having us here again, yet another day. Uh, we give respect and honor to our leaders, Brother Jerry Carson, Bill Eady, President Sean Fain, and Vice President Chuck Browning. Uh, this it is still the day that the Lord has made. I want to say this in regards to where we at with our recording. When Emma come on, sometimes she'll have to get on here a little early. So um, we are asking that our conversation be one that would be uh, discreet uh, and got to be careful. We've been getting attacks on our WebEx, but um, Connie and I has, we have talked about some things and we'll give it brother Robert. We got to put up a, uh, we got to be guarded. We got to protect the integrity of this WebEx. Uh, giving thanks to the women's today. It is the day Carson, um, he'll probably come on later on. He was at uh, Region 4 coordinator Randall Willis plant yesterday and had a good time with Brother Willis. So uh, the ladies are in charge today. Brothers, let's try to hold off and let the women's do what the women's do. So God bless you. I'll come back toward the end, turning it over to Sister Connie. And with that, ladies, we're going to go ahead and open up with, with prayer. We have a volunteer to start us off, and then we're just going to flow in prayer. Geneva Murph, local 961. I'm, I'm driving on my way to an appointment, but I'm going to pray right now while I'm driving. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come thanking you for another day that you allowed us to come together as sisters and brothers being on this line as well as asking you to bless all that takes place today, Lord. Touch all our leaders, Lord, all the ones that's on, all the ones that's on their way on. We're asking you to touch all the sick and the shut-ins all over this world, Lord. Be with them, cover them with your blood. We're asking you right now in the name of Jesus to comfort the bereaved families right now, Lord. You know who they are, Lord. We're asking you to comfort them as only you can, Lord. Give them strength, courage, and a peace of mind. In the mighty name of Jesus, we ask these and all blessings in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Love you all. Amen. Father God, we love you, God. God, we praise your name, God. God, this is the day, God, that you have made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Father God, on today, God, we ask that you forgive us, God, for any sins that we've committed against you. 
Father God, we thank you for Sister Connie. God, we thank you for allowing allowing her to allow the women of chaplaincy to come forward, God. God, we thank you for this awesome organization, the UAW. God, we thank you for all our wonderful leaders, God. And then, God, most importantly, God, we thank you, God, for this wonderful membership. God, we ask, God, that you be with us on today, God. We pray that this call and each call that we do, God, glorify you, God. We pray that each and everything, God, that we say, it will lift you up, God. And then the words, God, that we speak, may they encourage others. God, we just thank you, God, for who you are in our lives, God. God, we ask for a special blessing for each and every one that's on this call today. God, we pray for the families. We pray for the spouses, God, that allow each and every one of the chaplains, God, to come forward, God, and to do the things that you have called them to do. Father God, and I pray, God, if there's any sickness among us, God, that you be the healer. For God, we know, God, that every stripe, God, that you received, God, was for our healing. And we're claiming that on today. God, we claim victory in your name. We love you. We praise you. And we magnify your name. It is in the mighty name of Jesus that we pray. Amen and solidarity forever. Amen. Sharon Burnett, God bless you, dear Lord God. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory, dear Lord God. We love you for you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Lord God, we pray for all our leaders, oh Heavenly Father, each and every one, every state, every city. Lord God, we never know what someone is going through, but you know, dear Lord God, you know, Lord God, but you are the healer, Lord God. Oh, you are our Savior, Heavenly Father, and we thank you for your blood, for that blood covers us, oh Heavenly Father, for that blood cleans, cleanses us, oh Heavenly Father. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, dear Lord God. Lord God, we just thank you, Heavenly Father, for all the ones, Lord, that were out there on those many days with the strike, Lord God. Lord God, we pray for those families, Heavenly Father. We pray, Lord God, for our president, Heavenly Father, Sean Fang. We pray for the, our director, Chuck Browning. We pray for all our leaders, oh, Heavenly Father. Lord God, right now, we lift up our children, Heavenly Father. Lord God, take care of them, Lord God, in the schools, oh, Heavenly Father. There's been so much torment and destruction, Lord God. Cover them all with your precious blood, Heavenly Father. We pray for all the hospitals, the hospice places, oh, Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, dear Lord God. Lord, give healing, Lord God. Give direction, give strength, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, dear Lord God. Lord God, we love you and we thank you, Lord God, for there are souls out there to be saved, Lord God. Use us as your instruments, Heavenly Father. Use us to speak, Lord God, words of life into people, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, dear Lord God. We give you praise and we give you glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Father God, we come giving you glory, honor, and praise, Lord, for you are worthy to be praised, Lord God. We thank you for another opportunity to have to pray, oh God, and just usher up our hearts unto you. We pray, oh God, that it's a sweet smell in your nostrils, oh God. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for life in life more abundantly through Christ Jesus, our Savior. We thank you, Lord God, for the leaders of the UAW, Father, from uh, President Sean Fain, uh, Father God, all the way, uh, Bill Eady, Jerry Carson, Jerry, uh, uh, Jerry and uh, Elder Herb, Father, and each and every one. I pray for uh, Marsha Watkins, Lord God. I pray for each and every leader and uh, uh, each and every representative on this line, Father God. We pray, oh God, that you will continue to give them the strength and the wisdom that they need to lead, Father God. Lead your people. Father God, I pray for the people in our workplaces, Lord. They are hurting, Lord. You know their hearts. You know their minds, Lord God. I pray, Lord, that you will supply all their needs, Lord. And we just thank you, Lord, that you do supply all of our needs, Lord thank God. You. Father God, we just thank you, Lord. Thank I pray, you. Father, for the sick and the shed in, Lord God. I pray for Sandra, Lord God, that you will continue to bless her, Lord, and enable her to recover. Oh, Father God, I pray that you will surround her with the nurses and the doctors that needed and give them the wisdom to make the right decisions for her, oh God, that she can recover and be healed in the name of Jesus. Father God, and not only Sandra, Lord God, Father, we can't forget those that are sick and shut in in our families, our communities, Lord God, even on our jobs, Lord. We pray, Lord, that you will usher up, usher healing and recovery in their lives, Father. Then, Lord God, we pray for Iraq. 
I mean, we pray for those over in Israel, Lord God, yes. in the war. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, Amen. we pray for a hedge of protection over the, over your people that's calling on your name, oh God. For you said, Lord, if we will call on your name, seek your face, turn from our wicked ways, then you will heal our land, Father God. And we pray that you will please, Lord God, hear the Hear the calls and the hurting of your people, Lord. We pray, Father, for protection over those people and the children, the uh, elderly, oh God. Father God, and the men that's trying to protect their families, Lord God. Oh, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father God, even over here in our land, here in the United States, Lord God. It's so much going on, Father. Lord God, but it doesn't take you by surprise. It takes us by surprise, oh God. Father God, just to hear the chaos and the violence, Lord. Father God, I pray, Lord, that you will please, Lord God, hear the anguish and the, and the hurting of your people, Lord. Protect the people, Father God, children Hallelujah. and teens that are uh, uh, killing each other, Father God. Stop the violence in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Then, Lord God, we pray, Lord, for our employees and our workplaces, Lord God. There's so many people that are hurting and have so much uncertainty, oh God, about what's going to happen and what's going to and what's not going to happen or what should happen and what shouldn't happen. Father God, but you know all things. You hold everything in the palm of your hand, Lord. Nothing takes you by surprise. So, Father, we pray that you would please, Lord, touch the hearts and the minds of your people, oh God, that's uh, voting on a tentative agreement, Lord God, that they would vote as you see fit, Lord. Lead them, lead them, Lord God. Give them the mind to seek out the youth, that they would do the right thing, not only for themselves, but others to come, oh God. Father God, we just thank you and we praise you, oh Lord God. Father, we give you glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, we love you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Father God, that all of our needs are met, oh God, and we have more than enough, Father. We stay connected to you, Lord God. Help us, Father. Lead us in the way that we should go, oh God. Father, for we're nothing without you. Oh, God, your word, Father, leads us and guides us. Your word is a lamp for our feet, Lord, and light for our path, Lord God. And we just thank you, Lord. We thank you. Use us, oh, God. Use us, Father, to be an instrument, that, to be a vessel for you to work through, oh, Lord, that people will see you and be led to you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Help us, Father. Help us as chaplains, Lord on our jobs, Lord, in our homes, Lord, in communities, oh God, to be that witness unto you, oh God. And we give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank, Thank you, you, Father God. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Oh, I bless you, oh God. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that's within me. Bless your holy name, oh God. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and Lord, we will not forget your benefits, oh God, for you are good. Yes. You yes. are good. Yes, you thank are, you. oh God. You are so good, Lord. Thank and we you. thank you, Father. Hallelujah. We magnify you, Lord. We glorify you. Oh, for your Sister Connie, let, let me come in right now. Let me come in right now. In the spirit of the Lord. Thank Sometimes uh, when we do a well act, um, we need to flow. And there's a uh, flow that is missing this morning as if we have pre-planned what it is we're going to do. So let's do what God Show us we need to do. Sometimes the brothers need to help the ladies. So right now the, the call is open for everyone. 
So I'm going to just ask Brother Robert to uh, step up right now and just say a prayer. And we want the brothers and the ladies to pray. Together today, we're going to be on one accord. It's a time where uh, the numbers are low on the call. We can see that. And I know Brother Robert see that. So uh, help us out this morning, Robert. Connie is still uh, facilitating, but the brothers, you are more than welcome to pray this morning. So Brother Robert. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we do thank and praise you for being so good and just in our life. We worship you and honor you. We, we love you, Lord, and we love you not because of what you do, but because of who you are. We thank and praise you, Father, for the Son, Jesus Christ, and for the Holy Spirit that lead and guide us into truth and lead us each and every day. Father, I pray over our ratification, Father, for General Motors, Ford, Chrysler, and for all those that are on strike. We pray, Father, over those, Father, that are at the casinos and those are on strike for Blue Cross Blue Shield, Father. We pray for our brothers and sisters during this holiday season of Thanksgiving, Father. Father, we are so grateful, Father, that you are our Lord and Savior, and Father, and our Savior means that you protect us and that you keep us safe from all hurt and harm. Father, I pray over each and every last one of my brothers and sisters this morning, Father, this afternoon, thanking and praising for all you've done and all thank you've you, yet to do in their life. And Father, I thank you right now, Father, anointing that rests upon us for service, thank Father, you. to take Hallelujah. care of your people, Father, to meet them, Father, where they're in, in their moments of need, Father, to just okay. go out and reach out and touch those, Father, with, that's going through the hour of bereavement this day, Father. We thank and praise mm -hmm. you, Father, for those that are lost, that can't be found. So, Father, mm -hmm. we would always introduce them to your son. We thank and praise you, Father. We praise you for this day as the day that you have made. We shall rejoice and we shall be glad in it. Father, we ask that we decrease thank this you. day. Mm -hmm. I ask you personally that I decrease, that you may increase in my life. Don't let them see the Robert Ghost in Jr., but let them see the Jesus within me. Father, yes. I pray, Father, oh, each and every last one of my brothers and sisters, I pray over their hands that everything that their hands touch shall be a success for the kingdom of God, therefore shall be a success for them and their families. Father, anyone that is in need, Father, I ask you to open up the windows of heaven, pour them out a blessing that I don't have room enough to receive it. And yes. Father, we never fail to give you and you alone all of the honor, glory, and the praise. Praying for our president, uh, Sean Fain, all the vice presidents, and the uh, EIB, E E B I E I B board, Father, I pray for them, Father, you. that you give them godly wisdom, Father. I pray for those that they negotiated with, Father, all the company heads, Father. I pray a blessing upon their life, Father, that they may come to know you, Father. And Father, we thank and praise you, Father, for this day. Thanking you right now, Father, for all you've done and all you have yet to do in our life. In the authority of Jesus, I pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And before before I move on, this is Robert Golson Jr., local 653, Milford Proven Grounds, active regional coordinator for Region 1. Hallelujah. This is Angie Green, local 1796, Wayne County Community College District, active. We need a savior in times like these. We need an anchor. Be very sure. Yes. Be very sure. That your ankle holds. Hallelujah. Rift of God. Let rock. Yes. That rock is Jesus. Jesus. He Hallelujah. is the one. That rock is Jesus. Jesus. He Jesus. is the only one. Yes. So be very sure. Hallelujah. Be very sure. 
Hallelujah. That you're in cahoots. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the song. Let Thank you, Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. We thank you this morning, Lord Jesus, thank for realizing you. that you are our solid rock this morning. Yes. Heavenly Father, we thank you for another day, Lord Jesus. Thank you you Lord. saw fit to wake each and every one of us up, God, in the name of Jesus. And you saw fit, Heavenly Father, to clothe us in our right mind mm. and to give us the activities of our limbs, God. But this is the day that you have made, Heavenly Father, and we do choose to rejoice and to be glad in it, Father. We thank you for this season in our lives, Lord. Even in the midst of it all, God, you are yet in control, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for our leadership today, God. We thank you for watching over them and blessing them, God. Continue to give them listening ears, Father, in the name of Jesus. To lead and guide the people, Father, in the direction that you would have us to go. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We came to say thank you. In the midst of it all, Father, we yet say thank you. Because we realize it could be much worse. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for being so good and kind and merciful to us all, God. Continue to bless your people everywhere, Father. Continue to give us strength today, Father, where we're weak in the mighty name of Jesus. And Heavenly Father, please forgive us of our sins, God, and create in us a clean heart, Father, in the precious name of Jesus. Because we need you, Father. We recognize we cannot do this without you, Father, in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you. We bless your name today, God. We ask you to have your way, God. Get the glory out of all that Son said and done glory. today, Father. And we thank you and we lift you up. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. The psalmist says, I will bless the Lord at all times. Yes. And his praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord, and the humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. Father God, we come to exalt you and you only on today. We lift you up now, oh Lord. We thank you for your continuous blessings. We want to have a praise in our mouth in the good times and the bad times the tough times. No matter what's going on in our lives, we lift you up, oh God. Hallelujah. You are truly an awesome, mighty God. And we we thank you for your greatness. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your kindness. We thank you for the unconditional love that you continually pour out on us thank and you, on this chaplaincy program. We take time out for you and reading your scriptures and singing songs of praise and, and praying and just talking to you when our hearts are heavy, when we're going through or whatever the situation is, Lord, we want to pause and say thank you and that we are bless you at all times. You are truly an awesome God and you are worthy of worthy. every praise, every word. You're worthy of every minute we give you. We thank you, oh God. We thank you that we're in a union that will allow us to do this. We thank you, oh God. Yes. We realize that we are a blessed people. This is a psalm that was a psalm of David when he had changed his behavior. And so we have to change and humble ourselves before you, before you can hear us. So that's what we're doing, which is humbling ourselves and just talking to you right now, oh God. We thank you. Maybe we don't thank you enough for the many things that you bring us through. But you bring us through this and you bring us through that. You you bring us through wars. You you bring us through negotiations and and you just keep bringing us through. Yes. And so we thank you. Our hearts are heavy at times. There's still a lot going on in each and every one of our lives, even among ourselves. We got people among ourselves that are sick and we do lift up. We do lift up our dear sister and the many more that are sick. 
And yeah. we thank you for the ones that you have healed. You have healed so many. So yeah. when somebody gets sick, we don't get surprised. We just keep on praising you. He says, I will bless the Lord. David said, I will bless the Lord at all times. We continue to bless you because you keep on healing. You keep on delivering. You keep lifting us up. You give, keep giving us encouragement to fight on and to press on. Yes. So we just want to say thank you. That's what I want to do. I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. you, Lord. Just thank, thank you. you. I don't know when we're ending this year and we're approaching another year, 2024. Everybody might not make it. But Father God, I know you have something in store for us. That you're Thank always you. up to something. And whatever you're up to, we want to be in the midst. Yeah. Because what you do is good and very good. So thank you, God, for including us in. Thank you, God, for bringing us Thank down you, through the years. Thank you, God, for letting us be a part of victory after victory. We won't worry about what we can't do because we know we can do all things through you so we just gonna keep following you keep showing us the way we're listening god help us show us the way on into another year we're right there with you in jesus name i pray amen amen Hallelujah. our heavenly father we come before you thank you you jesus. really are amazing <laughs> lord you you've lifted us up you brought us out of sickness you brought us to the salvation of our own soul that you died and shed your blood for. My Lord, how can we but say thanks? My, Thank you, my mind goes to a song where it says, my thanks to him. And then I think about my thanks to the UAW for yeah. allowing us the privilege to do what we do among the workers. Lord, we, we could be shut down at any moment. But, Lord, you have allowed us to behave ourselves and to guide us and to direct <laughs> us that, Lord, that we might be able to be a help to our fellow workers, those that are retired and those that, Lord, even in our community and among our churches, many don't even understand what a chaplain stands for. But, Lord, we reach to all. We, we reach our hand in fellowship to each one, knowing that each one can be a child of God. All they got to do is say yes. But your word tells us that whoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So, Father, as we was instructing another fellow on the phone, Lord, it's so beautiful, Lord, what you've placed within our hands. And yet, Lord, we know that there's things that we suffer. We don't want to give a flowery that everything is rosy. Lord, it was even you, Lord, that you said you learned obedience by the things you suffered. So, Lord, there's going to be suffering. But, Lord, the victories are sweet. And we want to thank you for it. We want to thank you for every road that we've been down, every heartache that we've been through. It has molded us and shaped us. And, Lord, we probably need some more sandpaper in some more areas. But, Lord, we will do our best to stand still and hold our hand in your hand, knowing that you lead and you guide. Lord, you said that the Holy Spirit would lead us and guide us into all truth. And Lord, here we are, my goodness, chaplains all across the nation, that we can come together and pray together. Never feel that division or that separation or my church, your church, that church, this organization. No, Lord, we're children of the Most High God. Hallelujah. Ooh, praise the Lord. We Hallelujah. Have the Lord, you bless each one that's on this call. Lord, we feel your presence, Lord. That's all we ask, that, Lord, to be able to be in your presence. For, Lord, that's where the fullness of joy is. That's where the fullness of love. That's where the fullness of hope. That's where that fullness, Lord, of, of the long-suffering and compassion to those that are lost, to those that are sick. That, Lord, that you would overcome us, Lord, to where we would walk in your steps. And what you want done, Lord, we would be there. Be with our leaders, Lord. Yes, they yes. need wisdom. They need Hallelujah. understanding. We've all been in places where we've made decisions and had to back up and said, oh, Lord, forgive me. So, Father, we just ask, Lord, that you would give direction, give guidance, all of these workers all across the land. Lord, that you're already orchestrating things for them and the benefits that it's already been prayed about. That, Lord, how you have blessed your people, Lord, allowed us to have jobs, allowed us to move across the country and go from state to state and be able to finish out our retirement 
Lord, what a privilege you have allowed us to be as workers, Lord, in the UAW. And then allow us to be chaplains, to be able to service them and help them. Lord, we thank you for your love and your patience, thank your you. kindness. Oh, thank Lord, you. how can we but say thank you? Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for this call that, Lord, that we can come together as one. My goodness, can you imagine? One in the presence of God and in the spirit of God. We love you, Lord. We thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. Sister Connie. I think it will be appropriate for us to move on. OK. Uh, at this time, we're going to ask uh, Sister Cynthia Harris. She has a poem that she would like to share with us. Cynthia Harris. Thank you so much, Sister Connie, and to each and every one of you. Uh, my apologies on Friday for in honor of our Veterans Day. I was unable to get on the call, but at this time, i just like to do a piece for our veterans, both active and retired. And I'm truly honored to be able to do this because it seems to be lining up with what each of you said today because it's simply title. Thank you. And it says, thank you for your service, whether by sea, air, or on dry land. Thank you for protecting us and taking a stand. Standing not for one, but standing for all. When duty rang, you always answered the call. You put our lives before your very own, sometimes by tanks or helicopters that you have flown. Flown into enemy fire, our safety was your sincere desire. We would not have some of the things today had you not made sacrifices and paved the way. Paved the way so that we could live the ultimate sacrifice many of you did give. Thank you for your service. Words spoken from the heart. Thank you for your service. Precious words we do say. Thank you for your service each and every day. Thank you for your service. God bless you. Amen. 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 Thank Amen. You, that was that was an awesome prayer, Cynthia. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Let, let, let me add Do this. Do have anyone? Let me, let me add this. Um, it seems like we're given getting these divine. Um, God is just stepping up and leading us in a way that's heading us into a very uh, special week, Thanksgiving week, a week where we uh, automatically give thanks. And we heard from uh, Brother Scott Arrington last week. Uh, he was at a veteran conference and he reminded us that they recognized the veterans every day at that conference and we uh made a statement sister connie that we're going to incorporate that into the chaplaincy conference every day that is possible at that conference our international chaplaincy conference we will recognize the veterans and for you sister harris to uh present us today with a poem is appropriate um, because they mean so much to us. And as we uh, head toward Thanksgiving, I know we all are looking for the meal. I know I am. Uh, it's always I can uh, go anywhere and get a special meal next week. And uh, I know Connie probably freezing up some collard greens and Maybe some chitlins will come on. But it's a day, it's a week next week when we were um, pinning the lineup. Next Wednesday, uh, 
the day before Thanksgiving will be testimony and roll call. We want all of our uh, chaplains to feel free to testify and tell us why you are thankful. Uh, and Sister Harris, I wrote, thank you for your service. Um, so many times we forget the service that this group of people, as Paul Nichols said, the UAW chaplains. We don't say it enough. Jerry Carson says it all the time. Chuck Brownie is always reminding us. President Sean Fain is beginning to elevate the thank you to the chaplaincy because they realize, and I want everybody to get this, the leaders of this UAW today realize that if it had not been for the Lord who was on our side, uh, we, 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 we were favored in this fight in the spiritual realm because we representing people of all faith, all color, all denomination. We are representing not the old, but the young as well. Children, we do our best. And it is just an honor today to hear the poem. And what stood out is thank you for your service. So chaplain, we just getting ahead of the game. If nobody have said it to you on this WebEx, we are saying it today. Thank you for your service. Uh, Article 41, Section 2 is very real in all of our lives. And we don't hear it enough. You guys don't hear it enough, but thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We are the ambassadors for the man that died for us. We are his ambassadors. They call us chaplains, and we realize that's who we are in this organization. But we are Christ's ambassadors. And uh, this Friday, uh, I have no idea why this is pinned, except I know it's from the Lord. What's going on? And I believe this Friday we will get a uh, better understanding of what we were speaking about, Connie, earlier today uh, before we went on the call. We got to have to. I'm going to have to play it um, and see what we were discussing. But uh, what's going on is important, and I'm sure Carson, Jerry Carson, Brother Bill Edie, I would ask Jerry if he can uh, make a request for Vice President Chuck Browning to come on the call and tell us what's going on. Right now, our imagination, our opinions are dominating social media. And it's okay because we are free to express our own opinion. But you hear so many times, Jerry Amen. Carson Amen. said, we want to give you the facts. Voting is taking place uh, around every UAW plant because every one of them have the tentative agreement that they are allowing this membership who is the highest ranking authority inside this UAW. They are allowing the membership to cast their vote, something uh, that they always had an opportunity to do. And I do know this. 
This leadership has walked by faith. And what has taken place here has never taken place before. They got a contract. I never in my entire history, Brother Robert, as a UAW member, stepped out and walked by faith and went back to work before the contract was actually ratified. That's God showing us, regardless to how the vote turn out, get my people back to work. Let them have a week next week where they're not walking around depending on agencies to give them a turkey. Put them back to work where I know it's going to be a celebration, Cynthia, because they work in long hours when they get that check and it reads over a thousand dollars. I know, Paul, that they are going to be thankful. My only prayer is that they be thankful with a grateful heart. Be thankful to the Holy One. Be thankful and remember all the things that he has done for us. God has been good to this union. Our families are blessed. When our families are blessed, the children inside the family are blessed. It is just good to know that we as a group of believers must stand by God's holy words. I got an opinion. And I have to remember I got to channel this is holy. I, I got to I I must channel my opinion to the spiritual realm. I must remember as a man of God that I am not walking like the world is walking. I am walking by faith and not by sight. If I try to determine what I do by what I see, I would be in trouble. But God is good to every one of us. And this Wednesday, I am asking that the leaders of chaplaincy don't plan a long, drawn-out testimony. Let the membership, let, because we are known all over the county, you said it. We are all on webex around the world. But when they hear a Paul Nichols testifying to the goodness of God, when they hear Robert Ghoston, leader of Region 1, testify to the goodness of God, Get up, Carmen. Okay. 
And you, um, you, we Connie, never under, yeah. uh, we Herb never is, is frozen, uh, Connie. Yes. You need to unmute yourself. We never yourself. understand the beauty of God, so <laughs> the interruptions, <laughs> we, we just come, go to the throne room. He knows That's what's right. going on. He knows what button to push, so <laughs> we we'll just trust the that. Lord. Uh, yes, I yes. thought while they were talking, I, me and my wife, well, I've been sick for the last several days. But God has brought me through. My wife has been sick. She's coming through. So I just see it. We're, we're in the Father's hands. And and the Father give up his son so that we could be in his hands. I, I don't understand it all, but I know that the love of God is so, so vast that it has loved each one of us. And that poem, Cynthia, my, my. When we realize what the veterans have been through, my dad, my brother, and all the many ones that have family members that have, and many have lost their lives, but they did it for you and for me. Sometimes we have to take it so personal to realize what others have blessed us with and have given us the opportunity that we have. We, we turned our assembly plants into war machines <laughs> when when it was necessary there was wisdom that was given to somebody that was able to make those things happen so we are such a blessed people to be able to work among our workers and to be a part of god's plan while we work on the job that that blows my mind i i, I just to be able to be a chaplain when I give up being a pastor because God was pushing on me for this chaplaincy, it, it wasn't, it was hard in the flesh, but my soul rejoiced while my flesh was screaming. I, I don't know how to explain that, but I'm just saying, when you're doing what God wants you to do, yes, there's suffering. Yes, there's heartache, but those turn into blessings down the road. We we're always looking through the rear view mirror. So we have to understand that walking by faith, as Brother Herb was telling us, you're you're going to look back and realize how God was in it. But while you were going through it, my father in law used to say, You do it as if it's all up to you. And when it's all done, it was all about God. So all we were was a tool that he used. So we can be faithful in the small in the big or wherever position we're in we can be faithful and realize that it's god's light shining through on us that is making this all happen so when it's all done and said we have to say thank you lord so i better shut up and let the rest come in amen honey can you unmute yourself <laughs> Hey, hey, can you hear me now, uh, Brother Yes, Paul? we do. We hear you. Yes, hey, we can let, hear me, you. Let, 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 let me share this. Um, mm -hmm. We have been having trouble with our WebEx. It does what it want to do sometimes. <laughs> and it just dropped me from my laptop. But I felt like I was in the spirit. I felt like God was speaking a word to the chaplain that the enemy didn't want to hear. But I am so pleased that when they take one of us out, somebody else can step in like Brother Paul or Amen. whoever stepped Amen. in. Whoever stepped in. One, you, you know, they said one man don't stop no show. There are uh, Many members, but one body. So I know Sister Connie sometimes have trouble. Uh, man, I am so happy to have the trouble that I had just then. Because when we go to do good, evil is always present. I'm going to um, uh, finish this off by recognizing, because we haven't done that today, Sister Emma Chandler for the work that she's doing uh, in continuing this uh, transcript. Emma, we love you. I don't know if you want to have words, uh, but if you do, please 
feel free to do so now. Emma. Okay, that's okay. She's doing two things. She's multitasking. Jerry Carson is uh, somewhere in the building, I would imagine. But uh, before Connie, um, let me just wrap this up like this. That's Emma. How you doing this morning, Emma? I'm good. Hope you all are doing good. Sorry that I missed most of the meeting, but I'm sure it was wonderful. God bless you. Yeah, we're doing okay. Hey, let us hear from uh, Ken Thomas' board member, Brother Ken. Yeah, I just, uh, two things I want to say real quick. Uh, continue to be praying for Jerry. Uh, I don't know if you all know, but man, not only him, but all the other negotiators, these guys have been traveling plant to plant and going all over. I know Jerry was at our plant, came back to Detroit, came back to Chicago to 588, came back to Detroit. I believe he's going to Ohio today. He's on the road. So, uh, and all of them have been traveling to get the, the rollout for this uh, contract. So just be lifting them up in your prayers. And another uh, real quick thing, uh, if you didn't know that our, our president, along with the Teamster president and the airline flight attendants president, were before Congress yesterday, and it is on YouTube. You can uh, pull it up and look up. Uh, had a hearing with Bernie Sanders. He was uh, in charge of it. So that's all I want to say. God bless you all. Uh, keep up what you're doing. Catch you later. Thank you, Ken. That's what's going on. That's what's going on. These uh, uh, leaders of the UAW, they're just doing more than uh, talking to the companies. We are reaching out to the politicians uh, because what's coming up is major. But using the scripture, if I may, there is nothing new under the sun. We are not wrestling against flesh and blood. We are in a spiritual warfare, but we do know that the battle is not ours. It's the Lord's. And when you read What's going around the world today? If you don't have that faith, Paul, if you don't trust in the Lord with all your heart, you will be discouraged because there's some stuff going around that you better have Jesus. You better have him. And I say that from my personal opinion. It is so easy for us to just force a opinion from our personal, personal spirit. But man, try to stay in tune to the to the spirit, please. We said it a long time ago, and now more than ever, until this race is finished with this contract, if anybody come to you, just tell them, I believe God. Because if you allow them to pull you in, into a conversation, then the scripture can be flipped. What do you mean flipped, Elder Taylor? What I mean flipped is this. Greater is he that is within us than he that is in the world. But if you let the world dominate the conversation, the greater can be left out. So try not to voice your personal opinion. 
If it's not of God, stay faithful. Stay faithful. We give honor Amen. to the chaplain. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Brother brother Willie. We're going to turn it back over to Connie. I thank Connie for allowing me to step in. Sometimes I feel as though I do need to say a little more when Jerry and Bill is not here because they trust. And we talked about some things that um, we don't share with everybody. Connie and I have been engaged in a conversation about the integrity of our web app, of our Facebook page. We can't share with everybody, but we ask everybody to pray because we are under an attack. But it's nothing new under the sun. You're supposed to be under attack if you're living for God. If you living for the Lord, think it not strange. The fiery trials that come up against us. Sister Connie, you can close us out. I want to recognize Connie one more time. Um, she's doing an excellent job. Yes, she is. She's doing an excellent job. <laughs> Glory to God. God. All right. Closing out in prayer. Heavenly Father, we come before you thanking you, Lord God, for your goodness, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that you have your way in each of our lives, Lord God, that your name be glorified, that your purpose be fulfilled, Lord God, that your anointing rest, rule, and abide upon every chaplain, Lord God, that is in the UAW chaplaincy program, Lord God. We thank you that you use us, Lord God to fulfill your will, Lord God. We thank you that our footsteps are ordered by you and that you are the lover and the keeper of our soul, Lord God. We just want to give you glory and tell you thank you, Lord God. Thanking you for your loving kindness, Lord God, and for your mercies. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 We love everybody and have a good day and we see you this Friday. Amen. 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 God bless you. Well done. Amen. Love you guys. Love you, Connie.